episode three. Here, Here we, we are. are. Um, Jinx. Jinx. Fuck you. First of all, I want to say like a really just nice large ass thank you to everyone for watching originally the plan was just to do three of these mm. i personally would like to keep doing these i mean, I obviously we're not going to just talk about this one ep for our entire <laughs> you know podcasting careers but that'd be that'd be insane an extreme deep dive extremely <laughs> deep dive no but yeah i would also like to keep doing this it's fun have a mug with the boys i can <laughs> hang out with this guy oh look at that outside of the context of music crazy it's insane <laughs> imagine if we did a podcast that wasn't music related like That'd we never nice. talked about being in a band we just like did like a sports podcast <laughs> like, it's, it's super bowl sunday today fun fact oh yeah the super bowls today <laughs> fun fact we're also at my house this time fun fact as well yeah um cheers and mason's rocking a super bowl mug to kind of is a friendly nod to the fact that you had no idea that the super bowl was today <laughs> yeah we got a lot of work to do we got two more songs to go through and then we're done with this <laughs> This damn ass EP. Thank you very much. This damn ass rock record. Oh, man. But yeah, we got two more songs. First one of the pair today is Lucky to Know You. Lucky to Know You. Which is my personal favorite off the record. Um, this, is, this is weirdly enough the only one also that we recorded not at the studio. Yeah. We self-recorded it half a year after we finished like tracking the actual mm -hmm. record. Yeah. In a bathroom at School of Rock. Where did I we work. do guitar in the bathroom too, or was it just vocals? We did both. Like you did, you did live takes. It was mixed by one of your friends, this guy Matt. Mm, Matt Shaw, yeah, went to went to college with. I guess we both went to college with him. I but... actually don't think I've ever met him. Really, really enough. Shout out Matt. Thank you for working on this track, by the way. Love you, Matt. It was like co-produced as well by a friend Dallas, who you also haven't met. He and I kind of like worked on it on their bandwagon, and he just made it 10 times better he's like one of those people where he like listened to the song and he was just kind of like make this small change and it will be like a million times better like mm. the song is great change this one thing and it like the song will level up and i i thought i'd tell a little fun story about this one you weren't at this house show over last summer i guess like mm. last june or something like that i remember you like telling me about it when it happened i didn't i had never really played songs live that were like ours that we had never mm. recorded before. Yeah. And I just really wanted to like test out the song. Mm -hmm. Like I I felt like it was the right time. It felt the song felt like good. I wanted to see if like people like would react to it and just see if it was worth adding to the record also after having sat on like six songs for seven months or something at that point. Yeah. People were like specifically mentioning that song after the set and being like that was like really good. I'm like, <laughs> well we have to add it now, to the record now. Now it's now it's on the record. On the now record. Simply, simply recorded. Must, simply must be on the record. And I think adding Lucky to Know You Too afterwards kind of, it made the rest of the songs make more sense to me. Yeah. Something mm -hmm. I noticed that we haven't talked about in either of the other episodes is our friend Andy. Andy Diaz. Andy, our friend who plays in this band Northbound, we got together with him in like an Airbnb in yeah. like super East Texas. Like I, would, I can't even remember the fucking town. Dude, I don't know. <laughs> Wow, we came up with like six songs kind of at the time. We kind yeah. of like, he helped us flush them out, you know, played some drums, played some guitar. And he was in the studio with us too, which yeah. I hadn't mentioned. So I, I yeah. just realized like we literally should talk about that right now. Yeah. <laughs> Andy, Andy recorded guitar parts on the record also. He came He's up with a, a lot player. of just like the best leads on the record. Yeah, honestly. straight <laughs> up. Like the catchiest parts. <laughs> we love Andy. How could you not? We came back in this very room right after, right after we got back from the Airbnb and we were like, we need to write one more. Kind of just, we kind of just vibed out for a while and just made random beats and it kind mm -hmm. of evolved into a song or sort of what was like the semblance of a song. And yeah. we, we knew that it could be something cool, but for a while it was just kind of like this nebulous kind of idea. Yeah, just kind of like a dancey beat yeah. that we like had for a minute. This was one of my favorites to work on just the because same. we went so hard on working on it. Yeah, we, we ended up keeping a lot of the, uh, the like garage band sounds on the final version of this one too yeah which is fun and then we also replicated a lot of them at, at frenchie's place with you know fun analog, analog. stuff analog <laughs> hello cut that we literally have so many different like session versions of that song mm -hmm. like that's one where like we would have like a i don't know like a google drive folder that we would consistently revisit yeah. with like all the songs you know like to kind of 
form a track list in our head or like reorganize as we went or mm-hmm. as we went along. And that song, like every other day, I feel like there was another session version. Like, yeah. Both like structurally and kind of like lyrically, I guess it kind of changed a lot. Um, mm-hmm. But by the time we were in the studio, it wasn't finished. Yeah. That was one that I wrote like 90% of the lyrics that day. <laughs> yeah. Like, of course, the other thing is there the first verse or the first part of the first verse of that song is the same as next to me. Yeah. Like it's the same lyrics. So that like, to be fair, that part wasn't hard. You yeah. Know? Like, it made sense to kind of parallel that song. Mm-hmm. I don't think we knew that this was going to be the last track at the time. Maybe we did. Like we're, we're never releasing anything with fewer than seven songs ever again. From this point, <laughs> from this point forward, seven or more. We're just going to add one every time. <laughs> Technically we added two this time because run home was five tracks. doesn't matter. Run home is the best. <laughs> <laughs> let's say goodbye to thank you very much and talking about it we're done that's it we talked about every single song never thank again you. thank you very much let's play a game one more time and then go into the future of this podcast and see where it goes i have no idea what to do after this but we'll we figure have plenty it out of, plenty of shit to talk about yeah. we, we all boring about. but we we can we can go it's forever. fun to us so yeah that's, that's all that matters you fuckers <laughs> get you sweater get out this time um, we're going to do the reverse of what we did previously, which was Mason was being asked questions about me, like whether he knew things about me. Uh, it's the newlywed game. I'm going to be asked questions about Mason, see how much I know. I kind of mentioned last time that I feel like I'm not going to do a good job at this. I literally brought Mason like his incorrect coffee order like, right before this. And this happens every time. I, I just hand you black coffee. Mm. And that's because I'm just ignorant. I just like just it's think because everyone likes black coffee. It's the right way to drink coffee. And you have like good coffee. You don't have like that. You got that gourmet shit. <gasps> Here we go. Did I get my flu shot this season? Okay, I got my answer. All right. I put... No, I because didn't. you don't go to the doctor ever. That's right. I do not ever go to the doctor ever. Also, Nailed I don't it. get flu shots because I'm not an anti-vaxxer. Okay, <laughs> look, here's the thing. The one time that I did get a flu shot, I got the flu. <laughs> oh, no. Where did I go to elementary school? This sounds made up already. <laughs> Okay, what's your answer? All or right, what's the truth? so so the first one that I went to was called Sewell Elementary. It's like right down the street from my house, and then I transferred to Hillside Academy. I put Garland Elementary. <laughs> <laughs> Sewell also sounds made up. Yeah, no, Sewell is definitely a made up name. Isn't that in Korea? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I did go to Garland High School though. So, see, I would have gotten that one. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. What What is my favorite social media platform? I have my answer. Okay. <coughs> I don't know. I'm not like super big into social media, but I think like the most like like pleasing one for me to like flip through is like Instagram. I notice you post your story a lot too. Yeah. That's, that's kind of my <laughs> Those... cue usually for you, which like which one you're feeling the most. Yeah. Instagram filters <coughs> are like. I put Instagram. Hell yeah. What is my greatest fear? Got kind of a vague one, but it is like it can also be specific. Okay, for sure, for sure. That makes no sense. Specifically vague, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> or vaguely specific. Ooh, I know. Well, okay. So my, are you are you ready? Yeah. To go. Okay. So my my casual greatest fear, like what people, what I answer when people ask is spiders, because I am terrified of spiders. Okay. I don't know. I feel like having like some sort of like saw type item happened to me <laughs> that's like actually horrifying <laughs> torture or like having loved ones or people i care about tortured that would like legitimately fuck me up i feel like that that would like put me in like a ridiculous headspace and i'd just be like in rage mode i got the casual one right i yes, feel like spiders. that comes up a lot yeah with spiders um for greatest i put being unfulfilled on your deathbed so I was just thinking, Whoa, like, dude, you know, on that the, hits, the day you die, if, like, you felt unfulfilled throughout your entire life, you would feel terrible. You're l- literally right. Okay, <laughs> like, cool. That's a better answer than mine. No, straight up. Yes. That would. That's the curse of being, like, a creative or even just, like, a driven person. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like you always feel like you have to hit some sort of mark of, like, I, 
I feel like I got my creative energy out or I feel like yeah. I accomplished X, Y, and Z today. You know me so well. I'm going to cry. <laughs> what is my favorite tour fast food? There's like three that I'm kind of like bouncing back and forth between. Well, kind of four, actually. I'm curious to know what you think is... Or which which four? <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you the four after I put down my like official I, answer. I was like, because there's one in my mind where I'm just like, this is <laughs> this is it. <laughs> I feel like I'm wrong. My favorite tour fast food is Taco Bell. Okay, that would have mm. been the safe guess. Yeah, <laughs> I went for Wendy's. Wendy's do smack. Wendy's is like a strong like number two. Taco Bell, Wendy's, Burger King, <sighs> Burger King. I added cookout because we cookout brought it up. Fucks, I was like, yeah. I know, like, if that's an option, we have to get that. Cookout is great. And I feel like if there's, like, a Carl's Jr. around, you'll fuck with that. Like, or, like, a Hardee's, you know what I mean? The thing is, is, like, I'm not really picky about what I put in my body, which is, like, <laughs> kind of bad. Just that $5 box, man, you can't beat it. Fuck! I haven't that's been all. keeping score. How am I doing? I haven't been keeping score either. <laughs> Which game have I spent the most time playing on my Nintendo Switch TM? There is one answer, and it's by an, um, an embarrassingly large margin. So on you know your Nintendo Switch, you can see your friend's activity. You can like see which games they've been playing, how many hours they've spent on said games. Yeah, on top of that, you also get a little notification if your friends are online, and it tells you what they're playing. And almost every single time I'm playing Switch, I'll get a little notification that says, Mason is online. And I usually know what you're playing, but it, it will also tell you what game it is. Can, can I say what, the, what this is? Yes. Is this correct? I think I've clocked over, if not about 600 hours on that game on my Switch. Yeah, last time I checked, it was around 600. And I still suck. <laughs> If oh, anybody man. wants to carry me out of gold too, please hit me up. My my username on everything is at High Action Man. I need help, please. A Mason Rocket League stream would be really funny, bro. I get so heated playing that game. It's <laughs> like I, like people make me tilted as fuck because everybody on that game is so toxic. Like it's literally the worst game, and I hate it so much. <sighs> anyway, well, yeah, we've we've been here for a while. Let's let's peace out. That was fun. Rest in peace. Thank you very much. Um, also, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time that we we do stuff when we'll be talking about something different. Yeah, let's let's keep doing it. I, Hell yeah! I fuck with this. I this fuck with this heavy. It'll be good. I kind of want to do them on tour too. I'd like to do like one like, or two in, like the, in van? the van. Yeah, that'd be badass. That'd be great. <laughs> but yeah, see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye. Bye.